Hello, Kyle A. Morris here with my review of the Smarson Action Camera. Clue with this camera, user manual, charger, micro USB cable, a plethora of mounts including a handlebar mount, quarter inch adapter, quarter inch female adapter, a clip hook, a few different size J mounts, surface mount with additional double-sided tape, waterproof case provides full functionality with all the buttons, case that gives it a quarter inch on the top and bottom, different size velcro strips, and an extra back for the waterproof case. The camera itself features a 12 megapixel sensor it's capable of 1080p at 30 frames per second and 720p at 60 frames per second. It has a 170 degree wide angle lens, 1.5 inch LCD display. It's capable of using up to a 32 gig micro SD card. And it's also capable of doing night vision for low light shots. On the front of the camera, you'll find the 170 degree wide angle lens power button which also switches between different modes. On the top is an LED indicator as well as a shutter button. It also is used for selecting things in the software. On the side, up and down buttons as well as a microphone. On the opposite side, a microphone, micro SD card slot, micro USB charging port, micro HDMI port, on the bottom is a cover for the removable battery. Uh, one thing to note about the batteries, they're available on Amazon for a very good price, so it's nice that you can buy extra batteries to have on hand. And on the back of the camera, again, that LCD display as well as two LED indicators. The software, uh, we'll say it's borrowed from the GoPro, so if you're familiar with those, it's very similar. It's pretty easy to navigate. You can switch between the different modes as well as change some settings including sounds for the buttons and the different resolutions for the camera. To kind of give you a real world scenario with this camera, I did two different tests. In the first one, I'm outdoor in the middle of the day in sunlight and I just do a panning shot. And both of these were done in 1080p at 30 frames per second. Here's the panning shot. To give you an example of motion in low light situations, I jogged down two flights of steps, went through a doorway, and then walked briskly down a hallway. Here that is. Currently this camera sells for $50 on Amazon and at that price it's an absolute bargain. It includes just about all the mounts you could possibly need other than possibly a chest mount or a suction cup mount. And because it uses the same mount as many other popular action cameras, the possibilities as far as mounts and accessories is endless. The only really downsides that I found with this camera is that the micro SD card is limited to 32 gigabyte which in 1080p that equates to about 80 minutes and in 720p about 120 so it's still a decent amount of time and by that time the battery is going to be dead anyway so while you have the battery out you may as well switch memory cards. Other than that camera did very well both in low light shots and well lit shots. It handled motion fairly well um, of course the 720p60 looks way better in high motion and overall it's just a great camera. It's easy to use, takes decent pictures I'll also have an example of a picture right here. If you're interested in purchasing this camera, I'll leave an Amazon link below. 
I'll also leave links to all my social media sites, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Google+, so please check those out. And I'll also leave a link to my blog if you want to take a look at that. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.